When you're evaluating, finding the value of uh, these, these objects here, each log equation, like the ones that have been written here, marries up to an exponential equation. Um, an equation with something raised to a power, it's got all the same numbers, just slightly rearranged. So as an example, can someone help me out? The first one is the easiest one. What equation could we write that uses 3, 9, and 2, but without logs? Yeah, Agni. 3 squared equals 9. Perfect. You should always have in your mind this equation when you look at this. What about this one? Someone else who wants to help us out? Have a think. Five. Okay, now quadrupled, you mean, yeah, okay. So quadrupled usually means multiplying by four, but if you raise to the power of four, then that's what gives you 625. These last two are a bit sneakier because they're not just regular old whole number powers, um, whole positive number powers. What's this, sec this th second last one? How do you get a fraction? What power is that? The negative fractions, sorry, negative powers will give you fractions. So 6 to the negative 1. That's 1 over 6. Okay. Now the last one is sneaky. A lot of people will see that and they'll say the answer is 2. Why do you think someone might look at that and think the answer is 2? 4 divided by 2 is 2. Or thinking about powers, 2 squared, squared is 4. But do you see it's in the wrong direction? It's in the wrong direction. What you really want, what's the equation that goes with this without logs, is 4 to the, to the power of a half. That's the square root of 4. That's equal to 2. Okay. So again, I want to highlight to you, and I'd love, if you've written down these equations, um, you should have written down these equations, the bases are the things which are the same. So this base of 3 becomes this base of 3. This base of 5, this base of 6, this base of four, okay? And then the other guys are the ones that shuffle around. Okay, well done. You can rule that off, and then the heading I'd like you to make is logarithm, logarithm, laws. Okay, now I want you to look at this one in here for a second. Log base 5 of 625 equals 4. I want to explore some logs that are related to this one, okay? Because all we're doing is thinking about an exponential equation from a different perspective. That's all it is. You're interested in what's the power instead of if you know what the power is, how big does the thing end up, okay? So along with this, I want you to help me consider two related equations. Let's think about or two related logs. This guy and this guy. Can we think about these? Uh, log base 5 of 5. If you're growing at a rate of 5, how long does it take you to get to 5? What power do I need to raise to? It's just 1, isn't it? What about 125? How many times do I have to multiply by 5 to get to 125? Three times, right? Now I want you to look at these two in relation to question two. And we're going to develop a law out of this. You guys remember when we were thinking about indices and stuff like that. Laws are just shortcuts that allow you to do stuff quicker without going through all of the hand calculations, okay? Firstly, have a look at this. If I hadn't written fives, if I'd written say log base four of four, or log base a hundred of a hundred, or log base pi of pi, how would that change the answer? It, it won't change. No matter what numbers you put in here, if they're the same number, you always get 1. Because that's the power you raise to to get the same number. So I can generalize this. I can write a law that takes this and says, well, for any number, for any number, like let's just call it A, I use algebra when I don't know what numbers I'm dealing with. So this is a way of saying any number you like. Log base A of a is always, every time, going to be 1, no matter what a is. Okay? So that's a law, right? It's not so much that you need to memorize this because someone said it's important, but it's just quicker to know that than to think every time, well, what about this one? What about base 3 of 3, or base 8 of 8, or something like that? Okay, good. We're going to develop another law as we consider both of these together now, and how they relate to this. Do you see that if I 
add these two equations together, I get this equation. Do you notice that? If I add these two on the left and add them on the right, I get this. Do you see that? So what I want us to do, let's just label these. L equation 1 and equation 2. If I add equation 1 and 2, then I will find this. Log base 5 of 5, log base 5 of 125, that's 4. But 4, you already told me was this, right? So from that I gain this. Okay? Now have a look. The law is going to emerge out of this, right? 5, 125, 625. What's the way that I combine these two in order to get this? What do I do? I multiply, don't I? 5 times 125 equals 625. Yes? So how can I turn this into, how can I state this as a law? Well, I can say log base 5, oops, of 5, log base 5 of 125 is equal to, the base is going to stay the same. Everything that I'm writing in orange right now is base 5. That hasn't changed at all. But over here, this is the product of 5 and 125. So let me just emphasize that. There's the 5. There's the 125, there's the product, okay? Is this true for any numbers that we like? Let's think about this one up the top. Where'd my black go? Black? Is it here? There it is, hiding. Let's think about that one. Log base 3 of 9. Hmm. If I add that to log base 3 of, say, 27, you already know what this one is. You wrote down that value. It's 2. What's this one? It's 3. It's just, it's just the next power up. Right? Is that equal to, putting a question mark here, is that equal to, what's 9 times 27? That's a big number. 243. Is that equal to 243? Log base 3 of 243. Does it work? If this is the question I gave you, what would you find as the value? 3 to the power of what gives you 240? And it's 5, isn't it? 2 plus 3 is 5. It is equal. So this seems to be true. I can add logs. If you add logs, you're going to multiply together the numbers in those logs, so long as the base is the same. Okay. So I'm going to write a law now. Okay, I'll go back to orange. The law is that log base, let's say, A, of a number, any numbers you like, right? These can be anything. So I'm going to call these guys P and Q. You've got the same base, but you've got any two numbers here you like. What will you do to those numbers? How will you combine them? You will multiply them. The base stays the same. <coughs> but you multiply those two numbers together, okay? Okay, now, this is weird, this is weird. You add things, you add things, that turns into multiplication. Do you know of any other kind of area of mathematics where adding and multiplying are kind of related to each other in this way? Have a think. Mm. Yeah, Agni, what are you thinking of? That's fine. That's okay. It's, it's all right to, to contemplate this, because it's a weird question to pose. Okay, Isabel, do you have a thought, or you just wave your pen around? Um, yeah, yeah. Do you remember when I said, look at these A's here, A, A, and A. You've got the same base. That's really important. If I change the bases, this is all a bit different.